to my channel. My name is Janet. And if you're new here, please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. We would love to have you join the family. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, day one. It is officially, finally, day one. Sometimes with YouTube, I just hate that I can't do it in real time. Like, I guess I probably could, but I, I have a lot of other things on the go um, because between this channel and my other channel, I am uploading every single day and I am very busy with Etsy getting, you know, a few orders every day. So it, it just isn't feasible for me to do that. So finally, you guys are getting day one and I'm sorry it took so long. It was just I had a few things that I needed to pre-record and the prep video that you would have seen me do with Hope, um, that was a while in the works. So finally got that done and it was fantastic. Make sure you go back and watch that video. It will definitely help you out a lot with what I will be eating for the first three days on the BBBE challenge. So the BBBE challenge stands for beef, bacon, butter, and eggs, and that is what you're allowed to eat, and you are allowed to eat an unlimited amount of that. You can eat just until you're full, and that is what I'm doing, and that is what I'm starting today. So, I also did take my weight and measurements this morning. I did remember. <laughs> so I am just going to write those down in my book because I did write them down on my phone because I didn't want to forget doing that first thing in the morning before I ate or drank absolutely anything. So let's write our numbers down in our book to start off our day. So as I would have mentioned, start some sort of logging whenever you're doing a challenge. Highly, highly recommend doing this. It definitely helps out so much in your journey and to see how far you've come. I've also taken pictures as well, which I probably will use for the thumbnail for this video, but we are going to compare. Even after two weeks, I'm hoping to see some difference. Let's start with our weight. Okay, so our weight went up a little bit and it is now 172.0. Not the end of the world. I was thinking when I posted about my going up two pant sizes, and you know what, you guys? I was thinking to my 240 pound self when I started this journey, that person would have loved to be in a size 12. And you know, I have never been a size 12 other than this journey. And you know, I take it for granted that my normal size eights don't fit, but I also have to think of how far that I've come. And that person starting at size 22, 24 pant size, you know, 240 pounds would have loved to see this number on the scale and would have loved to fit into a size, size 12. So don't underestimate yourself. You've, you've come so far. And if you do have a regain, we're in this together. And you know what? It's not the end of the world. We have the rest of our lives to live. You know, it has no end date. It has no finish line. So be proud of yourself and how far you've come. I just want to mention that because sometimes even myself, I do get down on myself. But you know what, we got this and think of how far you've come. All right, next we are going into my hip measurements. My hip is 42 inches. My right thigh is 23 inches, sorry. And my narrowest part of my waist is 34 inches. And my right bicep is 14 inches. So those are my starting measurements and starting weight for this challenge. And you know what? I'm not upset about it. I'm actually not upset about these numbers whatsoever. My waist, I kind of figured because I think I'm holding a lot of water weight. And with my waist, since I have gotten a tummy tuck, but in my waist is where I will gain the extra like um, water weight and bloating because if you would see my picture it kind of like my my waist bulges out and then it kind of goes a little bit narrower and that's because of my 
tummy tuck, I did have liposuction, like that was included. And I feel like fat doesn't grow, grow. <laughs> it doesn't go there. It kind of moves up a little bit. So it's always in my narrowest part of my waist that is, um, grows in inches because of water weight and inflammation and all of those things. So now that we got all those numbers out of the way, we have been sipping on my drink, which I have mentioned what I was going to be doing. I'm not going to be having coffee. However, you are allowed black coffee. But this is what I have been raving about and is so amazing. Now this is the Relight Boost. It is a Redmond's product. It is amazing, like amazing product. It definitely does its job. However, make sure that you're only having this in the morning unless you're not affected like by caffeine. Um, it definitely does its job. <laughs> so have a look down below, but it has excellent, excellent, um, like minerals in it as well too. Mainly getting your energy, like I said, from the green tea extract. Um, and there is a bunch of other things. So read it down below. Highly recommend this stuff though. If, if you are able to, the code Janet Greta will also get you a percentage off that. So I am sipping on that. And then comes the fun part. I have already made my first meal. It is now 11.35 and yes, I did bring it down to my office. <laughs> uh, it's just when nobody's home, I'm like, I can just eat down in my office, right? So this is my breakfast, you guys. Look at how good. Like, come on, this looks good, right? So I have, I think I have five pieces of bacon because it's just the regular sliced bacon. I have two eggs and then I have two slices of Anita's BBBE toast with the butter mayo put on top. Looks delicious. I am going to eat this and then I will get back to you. See how much I eat um, because you are, I have a feeling I'll eat all this honestly, but you are able to eat until you're full. So that is going to be meal number one today. All right, I finished all of that. So it was so good. It was so good, you guys. I don't know. I haven't had bacon and eggs in so long either. And Anita's bread is really, really good. I actually really enjoy it and I feel full. So one thing that I've learned is that there is no snacking on the BBBE, which is totally fine by me. I'm actually not even a huge snacker. I definitely have two meals a day and I'm satisfied with two meals a day. There are a lot of days that I just have two meals a day. So I'm totally okay with that. Um, <clears throat> and considering how I do intermittent fasting, I actually don't get hungry for a snack. So like I said, it was about 1130 when I had meal number one and meal number two will probably be close to five o'clock, I would say. Um, and that might be my Edo, Edo, my eating window is between like 11 and five. We're going to try that. Sometimes I do 12 and six, but, um, I really prefer intermittent fasting. Like I've been doing it for so long, so long. I just naturally am intermittent fasting without even knowing it. So, but meal number one was so delicious. It was so good. On the little piece of toast, I put like an egg and some bacon and that was really good. So tomorrow I just looked on my menu and I'm going to be having uh, bacon sandwiches. So good, I cannot wait. The only thing is, I think I might double Anita's recipe next time is because the pieces are really small which you know she had said in her video but I, I like to have my pieces like an actual piece slice of bread right so I might double the recipe next time um but it's it's so good adding that beef keto chow or even if it's beef gelatin really makes a difference with that bread it's really really good so I was really satisfied with my meal number one so make sure you stay tuned for what I'll be having for my meal number two in a bit all right, I am going to get started on supper. It is 12 o'clock and I'm just going to be heading to town. So I'm going to put a roast on. Now, I could not find a venison roast in our deep freeze. I know we have some and I couldn't find it. Jimmy has been working, like I had said, at that job in town doing some uh, painting and all of those things. 
So I ended up just behind, I bought a roast. Gosh, this is the time in years that I have bought a beef roast. I have mentioned that I buy beef steak and I buy it, I don't wanna say quite a bit, but during the summer I will probably buy it probably like six times or something like that over the course of the summer. Cause Jimmy and I still do like a good beef steak on the barbecue, but this small roast, which is beef sirloin tip roast, so it is kind of like a higher cut, was $17.35. And to me, that seems outrageous. But maybe to others that buy it on a regular basis, it doesn't seem that bad. It was on special. It is not a big roast because it is just Jimmy and I right now. Um, so I am going to put that in my slow cooker. And then what I'm going to do is I will pan you down in a minute here. I'm going to add some of the built beef broth to some hot water. I do have a discount code down below for this as well for you to save you some money off of your purchase from built bars. But this is really, really good. This um, beef broth, I actually use it quite a bit. So I thought that I would add that to the roast. I'm gonna put the whole packet in there and I'm just gonna stir it up with my little whisk, making sure it's all combined. I warmed up the water in the microwave because I thought that it would all dissolve a little bit better. And I, this is probably like three quarters of a cup of water. I didn't wanna use a lot of water. Um, I don't know, no reason. <laughs> But the steak looks really, really well marbled. I'm really excited for it. And I haven't, the steak, the roast. I haven't had a roast, like I said, in years beef roast. So I'm actually pretty excited to give it a try. Um, let me show you what it looks like. All right, this is the gorgeous beef roast that I have in my slow cooker. So I'm going to add this beef broth. I am probably just gonna put some salt and pepper on it. Can somebody tell me about seasonings? <laughs> can anyone tell me about seasonings, what seasonings I can and can't be using? Um, please let me know down in the comments as well. Um, but I'm going to add the beef broth to this and some salt and pepper and that is it. And I'm gonna let it cook on low for about five hours. It, it is not that big of a roast whatsoever, so. All right, it is almost five o'clock and I am going to be eating my last meal, meal number two. The roast turned out really good, actually. I turned it off about half an hour ago. And so I have, I'm not sure how much I never measured, but I have some of the roast and then I have two little slices of the BBBE bread with the butter mayo on top. And then I actually just put the butter mayo on top of the roast as well too. So that is going to be my last meal of the day and I have been feeling really, really good today. So I think I'm on track. Day one is pretty much done and in the book. I think eating between 11.30 and 5.30 is pretty good for me. Um, like I said, I usually am on that type of schedule anyways. I never felt the need to snack as well today. I did go for a massage. Um, because I was having that neck problem and it actually turned out to be a shoulder issue is what my massage therapist said. So um, she definitely helped me to like readjust and do all the things. It was not like a deep tissue massage and it like nothing like that or it wasn't a relaxing mas massage either. It was just kind of getting the, the kinks out. <laughs> but it felt really really good i really want to try to keep that up as well as go to our chiropractor i know a lot of you had mentioned that however for me to go to the back to the chiropractor because i haven't been there for a while was 160 dollars for the initial fee after that i believe it's like 90 dollars, and i just wasn't willing to spend 250 dollars right now i may do that next month but right now i was just okay getting a massage it was getting better anyways but i did want to go and see her and it feels a lot better so that is going to be my first day on the bbbe challenge you guys and i followed everything on the meal plan i was actually just looking at that to see how i was doing and i ate everything that i said i was going to eat today so that's definitely a bonus in my eyes 
Um, and then tomorrow I'll be able to have the bacon sandwiches, which I'm so excited about. And then the egg salad with bacon and the butter mayo that I made. So I plan on recording as much as I can um, with the what I eat in a day. So let me know if you're interested in what I'm eating while on this BBBE challenge. I would love to share that with you if I get a lot of interest. But thank you so much for watching. Ivy is literally right there. I'm scared she's gonna knock over my camera. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and make sure that you hit that notification bell.